Hello everyone, this is Billy. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. Um, please forgive the glare and please, if you can hear the background, uh, my friend Dusty is vacuuming my living room for me. God, he's a godsend. Anyway, what I have here is if you remember or have you, if you have seen my uh, snake made out of the pony beads, I am going to put him on a background piece. Now, living in Idaho, we have a lot of sagebrush and we have a lot of rattlesnakes. So, I'm going to work on this board, which is a beautiful piece of old barn wood. Look at that. It's, uh, it's got an inner slope inside here, like a bit of a dish. So, I'm going to do a resin background, have my snake in it. And I don't know if I'll make it just an art piece or a tray or possibly put uh, some hangers on the bottom for like a coat rack or a hat rack. Uh, we'll just have to see what I have available in, in the shop. But for the time being, I just wanted to let you see this part of it. And um, the snake, he's completed. So I'm going to go out, and I know if I sand this barn wood, there's going to be some beautiful wood underneath. And uh, I also need to sand the back so it'll lay flatter. But look at that. Don't know how old this is, but I love this piece of wood. Anyway, I will be back with you when this is sanded, and uh, we'll be ready to pour some resin. Okay? Until then, I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Alright everyone, I've got this piece of wood sanded and I'm outside on my old picnic table because we use this a lot for <laughs> painting, staining, any kind of outdoor work. It comes in very handy. So I have picked out two stains. I was contemplating this uh, Barathane wood stain, and this is a weathered gray. But I think I'm going to change my mind and go to a golden oak. Minmax wood finish. This is a golden oak. I have two cans. I don't know why I have two going, but I do. I'm just going to shake these up. The reason I'm going to go with the brown is because the snake has brown in it, and the sand and gravel I have is mainly brown. So, I thought I'll just stick to that. Let me, let me drop things. Just open one of these. And I just took, I just grabbed an old, this one has less. Let's go with this one. I can finish this one up. If I go any darker with a stain, this wood is so dry, it's going to end up pretty much, you know, really, really dark brown. And I just have this old brush. You can use any brush. Foam brushes work pretty good. But I am just going to go ahead and see how dark that is. And that's the light stain. But like I said, this is going to absorb a lot of stain. But it is a beautiful piece of wood. And just like that. Make sure to get all the edges and the sides. I'm going to do the bottom. And I did sand the bottom so it sits flat. In case I want to hang it on the wall or I couldn't possibly make it a big, big tray. We'll just have to see how it turns out. I have an old rag here to wipe off, but it's sucking so much of it out or in that uh, I don't think the rag is going to help much. This sure is a pretty piece of wood. And this is all I'm going to do. Top, bottom, and sides. Here's the bottom. 
Look at that. Oh. You know, I think this is oak, actually. See how dark that is? But we will decorate it with resin and some sand and rocks. And I'm just using up what I have on hand. We will let this dry and soak in really well. Let it dry, then I can work on the resin aspect. See the curvature in it? It'll make a puddle of resin. But I'm not going to pour. I think I'm going to brush the resin on. And I'll have to protect the back. So, I just go over this a little bit. Over here. Oh, come on, no brush. Once that seeps in, you're going to see the cracks and a lot of grain. I just love old wood. Sides a little more. Okay. Now I've got a few old pieces of wood here, and I'm just going to go underneath that, let the air get under it. And we're supposed to hit 93 degrees today, or 96. It was 106 last week. Just gonna let that dry. So when that is ready to go, I'll be back with you. Have a good afternoon. I'm in the kitchen now, and I've just put some water in the sink, and I have a metal strainer here, and here is a bucket of gravel that I've had in my um, garden shed. So it's rather dirty, and I'm going to clean it. And just so you know, what I do, even if it's a brand new bag of aquarium rocks, wash it because it's dusty, and you don't want that to affect the resin. So I'm just going to pour this in here. Let's see, look at the dirt. And I'm just going to swish this around. Get those all cleaned. And then I have an old baking sheet. I'm just going to put an old kitchen towel or a rag. Or you can use, all well, paper towels will absorb it too much and rip. But pardon the noise. And I'm just going to get these rocks nice and clean. Look at that dirt. And be sure to wipe them out of your sink, too. You don't want them going down your drain. Okay, that's a lot of gravel. It's on a towel, on a tray. I'll probably just let that dry, take it outside. And I went ahead and washed it all. And once it's dry, I'll put it in a jar so we can use it for more resin work. See you in a little while. Hi everyone. I am back with our piece of barn wood, which has been stained. And I had no intentions of doing this right now. 
because I really haven't prepared the front but I've got leftover resin and I'm going to just put a small coat or thin coat as thin as I can get it just across the top and I'm going to use my hands with my gloves and if it goes through on the other side I can either resand that or it'll be covered with stones and the snake so we'll just have to play this by ear but uh, here I go it's warm so we're just gonna maybe that's good that it's warm it's getting thicker it won't have to run I just don't want to waste this and I could have picked up a mold to use but I thought oh what the heck let's just keep working on this piece because I think it's going to be beautiful look what that resin does to the wood isn't that gorgeous oh that's gorgeous absolutely breathtaking oh I love it And the noise you hear is my curing machine from Let's Resin. I didn't, uh, like I said, this is a spur of the moment. It's humming. And uh, I just grabbed this piece of wood, blew it off of the air compressor, and here we are. But that's a good thing, right? That means I won't uh, be lollygagging on this one. We're going to get it done. I had plans to start it tomorrow or work on it tomorrow but this is just as well oh I'm, I'm sorry I moved you I'm trying to get the edge here this is big I don't think I measured it it's got to be a good oh 20 inches at least long and maybe oh 14 inches wide at the most yeah this will be lovely good idea Billy perfect timing oh that's gonna be lovely I don't think much is gonna sip slip through so I don't need to worry about that but this is the bottom and I did sand this area here so it sits flat I think it'd be a beautiful tray I just have to see at the end I'm coming over to this far corner and I'm going to go around the edges so I won't keep you this should be set when I get back to you well this is set now I think we'll have to use a another coat on it it's got a few uh, little puddle areas so another coat should take care of that and we can hopefully smooth it right out it did not go through on the other side by much only this little hole right here I'm gonna pick that off and then it's come through this crack here but that's not a big deal I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside and get back to that when I have a little extra resin so until then we'll see you real soon Hello everyone well I went hunting and gathering again um, something, whatever I could find, I could use in my snake project. So let me see what I, let me show you what I found. Okay, I have some um, rainbow moss in two different colors. This is a dark brown and a uh, beige or tan or off-white. Ooh, this stuff's gushy. It's pretty cool. I also found some dried... Well, these are silk flowers, but I'm not going to use too many. I might put a flower here and there on the ground. And with the flowers, I found a, just a few brown leaves. Some little sticks. Amazing what I saved. Now, I found this bag of sand and at a thrift store, and I paid a whole dollar for it. Dollar yard sale thrift shop, can't remember, but I've got sand. I've also got a few rocks, small rocks. I'm not going to go too big on the rocks. I have another container of rocks. Oh my gosh, rocks in my head. And, pardon my reach, I've got this big jug of um, aquarium rocks. 
Now, be sure, I know I've mentioned it before, if you use aquarium rocks, or any rocks, be sure to wash them. And let them dry thoroughly, because you don't want dust in your resin. And then from Timu, I wish these were bigger, but you know, it seems like sometimes you think something's bigger than it actually is. But these are just little stick-on tufts of grass, I guess, for mini scenes. But... Uh, I've got two different colors. I've got a brown here and this green. Wish they're a little bigger, but I'm going to use those two. And I was thinking, before I resin the snake, I want to place some of these where I think they should be placed. And let me grab my snake. So, I'm thinking I'm going to glue. I might use hot glue. There he is. There's the big boy. I might use, oh, I'm sorry about that glare, that's my light above us, but there's my snake, there's the board, the back of the board is all resin, it's nice and shiny. Let me move my camera just a little, oh, I gotta go forward, I can't go forward, the best I can do, I can tilt him, or let me raise you a little bit, hold on, and, oh God, sorry, there we go. I don't know if that'll help, but what I want to do is just start placing things. Now, I thought I had this board level so I can set on the counter. It's pretty level. I didn't want to go back and sand anymore. And it's higher on the tail end of the snake, and it kind of goes, in, goes into a bit of a bowl shape here, or a, there's a bit of a slant. So if I pour resin, I don't want to go all the way to the edge. But I'm thinking once I get things placed, I might take some of my uh, rubber latex and go around the sides here and block that resin from going over again. And the snake does not sit completely level, so I'm going to have to make the ground to where he can either set on it or I, I don't know how to do it. I don't want to melt him and get him completely flat. There's just a couple of areas here. So what I want to do to start with is I'm going to try to work my way around this snake possibly with the sand and then a bit of gravel. So I do have some clear glue here and this is all I have. So like I said, I can start small with the glue, I think, and then if I have to with the rocks, use my my hot glue gun and place things down before I resin. And I don't want to cover the snake. So even if the rest of this is somewhat level and flat, I can't go as high as the snake because he it would go over the edge and I don't want to make I don't want to make a barrier, you know, because then I'd have a uh, resin around the lip where you could see it. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Meanwhile, I think I need to prop this edge up with something so it's a little more level. Let me just grab a ruler here and I'm going to go underneath this. See if I can lift that a little bit. And I think I'm just going to get started with brushing glue on and I think I'll start with the sand. At least get the sand underneath him here and a little underneath him there. So I'm just going to do a little mid section of sand. So let me move him and cross your fingers. Um, not sure how this will work out but I have a you know I have a pretty good feeling about it. I really like this and I, I just didn't want to have a plain snake. And for those of you who have not seen my snake before, this is not a plain snake. This snake is in resin, and I used pony beads. That's where all the colors come from, pony beads and mica powder. And if you want to look through my video list, it's number 88. So, there you go. I'm just going to get started. I'll probably fast forward you, and I'll try to be quiet. Let me see if I can zone into this and get it done. I'm excited. I hope you like it. 
Here we go. Maybe I'll pencil in a little area. Let's do that. If I can, I'm just gonna, because we're gonna cover it up anyway. A little pencil mark won't hurt. Just wanna know where this snake is gonna be. Around here, so I can at least get an idea of the gravel, where to put this gravel. And I'll have to be sure to cover that up though. Okay, here we go, snake. I'm putting you aside. The rock already. All right, we'll start with the sand. So I'll get my glue. I've got my decoupage brush. And I've got a little bit of water here with dish soap. Heck, if I run out of this, plus the glue gun, I might have to use some Mod Podge too. We'll just get things set so I can put the resin on afterwards. So let's just do that. I know I need a quite a bit of sand here. I might have to use gravel there to kind of level him up. So here we go. I'm going to at least get the outside of the snake done. And we'll just do some sand. Put that on fairly thick. I don't use this glue too often. I think it's just school glue. And uh might have to be generous. So let's get some rocks in and it might take a couple of layers. Let me set this on my paper towel for now. And get this sand out. This is made by Acacia Stone Granite, it says. But um, I've got colored sand, but I just so happen to have this. Oh, it's in two different bags. Take one, one bag out of the other, if I can. I don't know. It's a clear plastic bag. Well, let's just start here. I'm just going to do a little pour here. Pat it down. And off we go. There's no stopping now. Oh shoot, I <laughs> tried to get that out of the bag. Well, it's gonna have sand everywhere. Oh well, let's make do. I need a jar. I need to throw that in a jar is what I need to do. All right, I'm just trying to get it a little damp. Get the snake back and see. Oh, he's going to fit. I had to build that up. I think it's working. Do more glue. Let me grab him. He's right here.
pretty close. I'm just going to keep adding this till I can get him it's a little flatter. More than I thought so. Down here. And then I think we're good. Okay, I'll catch up with you when I can manage this and my hands are clean and we'll try to get some rocks on. All right. And I'll get the sand in a jar. Okay, I'll be back with you shortly. Whew. Well, okay. I was a mess when I finished this, but I've got this pretty much situated where it, the snake is going to be level and running a ruler from edge to edge, I still have a good quarter of an inch to have the resin on top before it hits the edges of the wood. And I don't want to go that close, but uh, what I thought I would do now is I just don't want this blunt wad of sand here. I want it I want to add some glue to the sand and just simply pour the edges here and have it rather, you know, draped down to, to where it looks a little more natural. And then I think we'll add some stones. So I've got some glue left. I put that on my list for supplies to get more white glue. So I'm just going to hopefully not use it all, but there's a good good bunch. I want to add the sand and I did put it in a, a dirty old tub that I can't get clean and we'll just do it this way. And if you'll notice the holes in the wood here, I have uh, strapping tape underneath on the bottom so if the resin goes through it goes through but it should stop at that tape I'm hoping. I tried so hard not to get glue on my fingers again but there's glue on my fingers again. I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. It's pretty thick but I just I might have done that in the first place. But I'm just going, just going by, you know, my thought pattern here as to how it might possibly turn out. I'm going to add a little more glue. Like I said, we're just going to even out those edges so it doesn't look so looks planned. Let's see what happens. Then we can add our rocks. So we can have it look like it's tapering off into the rocks or the snake is just going beside the rocks. We'll see. I don't want that too, too runny. Let's just put one more scoop in here. I did use a lot of sand though in that, but who knew? I think we're good because I don't want it to travel too far. So I'm going to start basically just going at the edge and letting it kind of fall down where it wants to, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That one's just going to come into itself, I think. And I know you can't see me go all the way around. I'm sorry if I raised you too much higher. I'm afraid you might not see... Oops, right, that one right in the middle. You might not see much of anything. Try to get a little closer here. And then when we pour the resin, if I have some gaps, I can always add the sand to it then, I think. Let's kind of bring that out. 
and over. I had to go really high over here. I don't think you can see this far end or barely. I had to go pretty high over here. So I think this side's going to have more of the more of the gravel. And I guess I should mix those with glue too before I set them in. You won't see any of that when the resin sets up, I'm hoping. I want to thank you for watching. I do appreciate you all very much. I'm behind on my comments again. So sorry. I keep saying I'm gonna do that when I'm when I go to bed. I'm gonna answer my comments. By the next thing you know, it's like lights out and she's a goner. Fill that up. See what I mean? I don't know if you can see what I mean. How it's just running down. Looking a little more natural. That's what I wanted to do. And I was thinking, you know, I'd like to save some of the wood showing. Unless someone's imagination would think, oh, he's going across a log or something. And I do have, we do have rattlesnakes here. I have not, well, I've encountered a few. But uh, they haven't, you know, been in, in my neighborhood or anything that I know of. Thank goodness. If I lived out more in the farm country, I'm sure I'd encounter them more often. I remember once I was out hiking with my husband. I guess he was hunting. I don't know. Me and my boy were with him. And I think Willie was about three years old. And he's pretty heavy, you know, by that age. And I'm just a scrawny little gal. And Richard says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up here. And you you take that hill put, and uh, be sure you put Will on your shoulders. And I says, well... Why do I have to carry them on my shoulders? <laughs> he says, well, there's rattlesnakes out here. And I thought, oh, good God, I think this is the last time I'm going hunting with you. I'm not traipsing through this sagebrush in the heat of the summer. Sometimes they're out on the on the roads, you know, soaking up the heat from the pavement. Whew. I was with my dad one time. We had gone fishing and coming back. We're on the, the old highway coming back and a rattler in the middle of the road and oh my gosh my dad I'm wigging out and he's he's grabs the oar out of the boat and he's gonna get him a rattle rattler skin and I said, oh my god so he's I don't know the man grew up in the bush I'm sure there was timber rattlers where we were from but you know once again I never saw anything and uh so there's my dad Oh, I think I was like a young lady then. And uh, he's out there with the oar of the boat. Well, he gets gets the oar on the head of this damn snake. And next thing you know, he's got this snake pinned, right, on this pavement. And the 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 bugger's just flailing. The, the tail's just a flailing and a rattling. And I'm freaking out yelling. I'm in the truck still going, oh, God. And, uh... He's, he's got that thing flailing around. Next thing you know, he reaches in his pocket and grabs his pocket knife and kills a damn snake. Oh, Lord, I was just beside myself. Oh, God. Man, you're so dare, devilish. Anyway, so he killed the snake. And, of course, you have to bury the head of the rattler because the bugger still can bite. You know, so he gets a shovel out and he bears the head of this darn snake, and I uh, and I I was just traumatized. No wonder I'm crazy. Good God. But uh, oh, I have another rattlesnake story. Darn it. So the husband was gone, 
and uh, we had a little truck at the time, and I'm out there helping him unload his, his hunting gear or whatever the heck from the truck, and I've got my head in the window of the cab, you know, just reaching for stuff. And he says, well, hold this, would you? So I just put my hand behind my back, and oh my God, it was a damn rattlesnake body. I, I about came unglued on that deal, but don't you ever do that to me again. But yeah, just a few things like that. So, um, you know, I'll pick up a snake. I'll pick up a bull snake or a garter snake or something. You know, I liked lizards when I was a kid and stuff like that. But geez, talk about a every time about having a dang heart attack. So anyway. There's another little Billy's life and <laughs> adventures. Okay, I'm throwing that away. That's what I wanted to do. Just even that out a little bit. Now, I've got a little more glue left. And I don't want to get the hot glue out until I'm starting on the uh, rocks, I guess, and the other things. So, let me... I'm just going to put a little more glue around the edge here. Get rid of that spoon. And um, get my brush out. And we'll just throw down some um, pebbles. I think maybe my stand is in the way, but maybe I can prop that up on the stand. There you go. So you can see the the rear end of this and maybe I'll try a little get you up a little higher hold on if I can oh that's about it Whew. my back's starting to hurt I just took some meds so that you'll know if I go off the page it's the meds um, and I do tend to talk more I noticed when I'm taking those that medication, and I don't know what it is about that. Kind of hypes me up, I guess. Let's get this there. It might just want to keep on rolling. Anyway, next, next. Oh, I hope this turns out pretty. When we're through, I'll show you the underside of the woodwork. I should have a wet paper towel here because it's really pretty. Let's just let's start down here. Get some rocks on. And I can't go too high. I'm going to have to watch it. So I think we will have wood showing after all. So I'm going to go to the, the gravel. I had some white gravel. Thing of it is, living in, well, we're called high desert country, I guess you'd say. Um, you know, the dirt, it's gray. The sagebrush areas and out, I wouldn't call it the bush, but I don't know what else, out in the desert. You know, it's pretty gray. Sagebrush is a real gray green. Um, you know, the rattlers can camouflage themselves in it pretty good. And I'm kind of going more with the brown versus the gray, mainly to match the, um, the snake. So I don't want to get too carried away there. just want that to hold and dry. So it's gonna run. Let me unprop, prop, prop, unprompt you. Prompt, prompt. There. So I just want to do gray down there. We can have. That's looking pretty good, actually. Probably don't need to prop this up now. Put that down. And as long as I go, here's my straight rule. As long as that's not touching 
too badly. It's barely touching up there, but I still can have a thin layer of resin on those. I can probably come up with more rocks at this far side where I just was. And like I said, when we pour resin, we can always fill in, oh, I'm sorry, gaps. Get y'all dizzy. Let's do that. Right around there. I can drizzle some glue on it. Come up this way a little bit. Pat her down. A few stray rocks. Um, oh, let's see. I'm trying to be a designer here. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking. We could put a little here, I think. Just maybe a, just a little bit of the gravel over here. Right in this area. Okay. And then I'm gonna let this all set overnight. And tomorrow, should be able to pour. Oh God, I keep hitting that. I'm sorry. I'm running out of room on my desk here. Get those down, kind of. Let's get a little. Now the moss. I'm thinking I should probably stick some of this moss down in here. And that way... You know the resin will cover it so let's do that get a little a little bit of moss in there okay yeah I've been wanting to finish this snake for a long time and trying to keep my craft room situated I'm trying very hard to um, use up what's laying around like the snake has just been laying around for the longest time got a little bit of this brown in there Ooh, it doesn't want to come apart now you can find this at michael's i think most of this is where i did get or michael's was the place i did get most of this moss I got a big color of the dark green, and then they had these by chance, so I just uh, grabbed those. They had different the different colors. So, get a little in there. Oh, I like it. A little more of the brown. Just kind of stick it in there. I don't want to put that back in if it's covered in glue. Get rid of that. Let's get a little more white. Oh, I wanted to throw a leaf down. I could like maybe have a leaf on the ground or something, right? I'll have to glue that in. Let's do that. This is just a silk leaf. I pulled the plastic off. So I really don't have that many things I, that I could find that would make this, you know, fit in and make it look a bit cohesive. That's my big word for the day, cohesive. Well, you'll still be able to see that, but that's, that's pretty cool. I like it. Let's put another one maybe right here. Whoops. Here we go. So today is Wednesday. Well, I'm working on this and I hope to have it all ready and edited for this Sunday. And I did get ahead of myself on a project that I thought maybe uh, you might enjoy. And I'll, I'll call it a Wednesday craft project. 
Yeah, there you go. I need your input. What would I call a Wednesday if I just put out my craft um, or miscellaneous videos? A what's happening Wednesday? <laughs> I don't know. Just a thought. A couple of leaves. Where should I put that third leaf? We have it a straggler over here. Why not? I keep getting stuck with that. One last leaf. Ooh, this is the best part. This is the most fun right here. Getting all sticky. Loving it, loving it. Okay. We're just going to go over there in the rocks like it fell from a tree. Okay. And let me get that root part in there. I'm going to pause you for a second and just go get a wet paper towel that I can have on hand here. Okay, I'll be right back. If I can hit this, I got glue on every finger. Here we go. Okay, that's better. I just grabbed an old wash rag. So, I'm out of popsicle sticks in here, I think. Oh, here's some. Just kind of tap that down. Like I said, we have room. We do have room. Might as well just fill you in there. So if I run my ruler across that, we'll be clearing that pretty well. So, oh, I got a little over here. It's a little high. Just move these down a little bit. Now, we put a little of this. There's a crack back here. I'll just stick a little in that crack. Down here in the back. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Whoa. Almost spilled the glue. That's going to be pretty darn cool. Okay, now we'll put some bigger rocks up here. Oh, I've got some branches, don't I? I don't know that we need a lot of these. Maybe one, two, or three. See how I save things? It's crazy. Just crazy, I say. Stick one there. I don't like things in threes. Maybe there. Well, yeah, we have plenty of room down here is where it's shallow. I don't want to bugger those leaves up. Ah, well, maybe just have one stick. One stick's good. One stick is good. All right. I don't know if this will hold well, but we'll put some on it. Just put a stick in, and now let's get, oh, now let's get a few of these. Now these kind of, I don't know, but they reminded me of a desert plant. can't remember what these are called, but they're plastic. I don't remember the flower name. I have some fake baby breath, but I don't think that'll, I think we're best, best off with those. So let me get my nippers. I'll put a few of these down. Okay, nipper nippers, where are you? I cleaned up my room. Now I don't know where I put things. So here's a big pair. Let's just get a couple. Let me move this out of the way. Break a couple of these come right off. Let's go with the whole show. Shebang. And if I can just tuck. Let's clip the little end off. Don't want it all falling apart, but I can. Oh, that went down pretty far. Stick a few of those in there. See if I can do this decent. At least to where they'll stay. And uh, they'll get covered by the resin. Using up the stuff. 
but I do need to order some glue and I'm out of almost out of decoupage or Mod Podge. Has any of you tried that new Mod Podge? Um, what's it called? Miracle something? I see it on Instagram. Oh, speaking of Instagram, let me fill you in. I got hosed twice. Some of these ads on Instagram, you know, like in December, there was a nice fleece jacket. Price looked right. I ordered it. Never got it. Never got it. So that, uh, I called, I got a hold of my PayPal and they reimbursed me for that. So that was quick and easy because I never got it. Then I had ordered. Now they've got, these scammers got these, they've got it figured out, man. Because they were under the pretense of QVC, right? I ordered a shelf. Well, never got it, never got it. But I kept getting tracking numbers, you know, so I could check it. And it ended up in New Jersey. Then finally I got an email or saying it was delivered in my mailbox. Well, there's no way that package was going to fit in my mailbox. And then trying to explain that on email, I did not get my package, did not get my package. No, it could not be put in my mailbox because it was a shelf. It's like, God, they've got it down pat. So, and then every day I'd get an email from the same outfit, different person. Well, then they say, oh, well, we can give you, you know, we had our loss and we can give you 25% back. And, and it's like, no, that's not happening. I want a full re refund. And I'll tell you about two weeks of these emails, they finally said, they said, I haven't seen it yet, that they would give me a 50% refund. So I thought, well, good lesson learned. So twice I got hosed on these ads on um, Instagram. But you know, they make them, like the whole back scene was QVC, like the QVC stage you know, where the program was being recorded. They've got it all down pat. And it's a bloody hoax. So, just saying, be careful. Be careful. We'll get you, buggers. And I think, I don't know how they find out. Well, anybody can find out anything about anybody, I guess. But I think they focus on the elderly like, we don't know any better, or we're computer illiterate. I don't know what they think, but it's kind of teed me off. Let's get a couple of these. Oh, see, look how cute. They're little. I wish I had bigger ones. These could be baby sagebrush plants. Oh, come on, I want you to stay in the hole. I keep touching it, and it, my hands are sticky again. I don't know if that looks ridiculous or not. But that's where it's going to go. That one wants to stick there. Fine. So I'll add a little more color to this, eh? A little bit of green. Stick it on the glue spots. Yeah, these are really cute. I wish I had bigger. I like it. So you be sure to let me know. Oh, we need some rocks, don't we? Bigger rocks. It's a little bit of greenery. Get a little piece down there. Come on, glue. Say I'm done. Then I guess I'll try to think about Easter. I had to look at the calendar because I always thought Easter was in April. And we went shopping yesterday for groceries and stuff, and it's like. Oh, beginning March 16th, blah, 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 Easter. And I'm going, what the heck? It does not give me time. When I am doing a little craft show in March, I signed up. I've done it before. I'm just going to take, take my little things. It's only a day. You set up the same morning, so it's kind of a rush job, but it'll work. Yeah. Oh. That one there. 
Should we get the darker colors? Now these are a little more brown. Might have to add some on the other side. I don't have a clue as to how much these cost. Pretty cheap off of Timu, and I got them some time ago. I'm going to the far edge there. I just put a couple there, one there. Um, yeah, let's just go sporadic. I think that's probably enough. I don't know. We're just guessing it here, but I like that. Something needs to give in there. Still another green one. If it'll fit. Well, if it swims away with the resin, we'll just put it back. How's that? Okay. I might keep playing. Oh, rocks. Where are we going to put the rocks? Hang on. Just throw a couple of down. Should have waited before I put the leaves down, but let's get a, there's a bag of rocks. I don't want gray rocks. I want brown and white rocks. Maybe, a, oh, I see. I see a spot. Right in this little gap here. Put a few rocks. This would be good for the glue gun, I think, right, using this, but let's throw them down. Oh, I covered the little green guy. Don't do that. Now that looks too bland. Another rock. Just a round one. So I think I have plenty of room here. Oh, there's enough. Wood. That dang flower's not going to deal with me. Okay, get out. That one either. Your history, man. Something right here. How about a rock? Covering up the hole. And something here. Oh, I like it. I don't know that I need any big rocks. Well, those are the biggest I grab, really. A couple of rocks, gravel, a little bit of green, a little bit of moss. I think that's everything I picked out. So, whoops, I just stuck my hand in the glue. Let me, I need something there, there's a gap. Now I'm getting Kind of anal about the gaps. Don't want to be that way. What could I save these for? I'll have to figure out something. Right there. A few more rocks. And then I'll put the snake on and you'll see what I mean. And then tomorrow, just be a matter of resining. And we should be good to go. Let's stick that flower here. And a few rocks. Is that what I said? Maybe a couple. It's too big. Maybe. No, you're too tall. All right. There you go. Get in there. Okay. Let's put the snake on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. This took a while. I just, you know, when I looked up this video, number 88, it was like an hour plus. That took me a while, but setting in those pony beads and then I tried the micas and I got his eye set there and it's not realistic by any means but there we go he's gonna stick up the rest of the resin should be 
level and he'll attach right to it. I could possibly, maybe tomorrow we'll throw a few things in, but I really don't think we need to. And I probably should have built that up a little more, but I think we're good. I think we're good. So I hope you like this today. I'll let you go. Have a wonderful evening or day and go outside, get a breath of fresh air if you can, if it's not freezing cold. Uh, it's been raining here, but we're doing okay. So I will see you all in the morning. Take good care, everybody. I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, I think I'm ready. Cross your fingers. Um, I've got this plaque or piece of wood kind of propped up. So the majority of the resin will probably go to my left. And I have a piece of, on both ends, I made a, just a temporary uh, wall. And this is, this is um, silicone tape, they call it. And I can give you that description in my descriptions. Anyway, like I said, this is a spoon-shaped piece of wood. So my, uh, my hopes, and I'm, I'm questioning this. But uh, my hopes are maybe pour two different layers of resin. Initially the first one to cover the center part. And then I might have to do another just to sweep it over to the edges. And I've got the left side up higher because that's the more, most shallow end at the end. So let's just see. Let's just see. I, I did uh, five ounces of my Let's Resin resin. I just took it out of the bubbler machine. And what do I have here? I've got my little silicone makeup brush and I think I'm gonna start at the far end of the sand and bring it down this way. And uh, when I flipped it over, I put some of my, um, oh, what is that rubber? My latex rubber on the sides and a bit of the bottom. So I don't have to deal with redoing the bottom because it's pretty much done. Some stones fell off, which was to be expected. And I'm just, I think I'll just start with the sand and get that sealed in. It dried pretty hard, actually. The sand did, so you just get a little on there. And I'll brush it across. Like I said, it might take two layers, and then I can set the snake on it. And he's going to be pretty much above the tray itself. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see if I can pull this one off. That's for sure. But I've wanted to do something with that snake. And see, it's pooling up over here already. Let's bring that back a little bit. I need to get resin on those stones so they'll stay. And, uh, oh my gosh, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this will turn out really, really nice. And I just jiggled you, I'm sorry, I put my hand on the stand. And then earlier today I was thinking, you know, I could have carved the sand out where the snake would actually sit right flat in, but oh, no. I'm just going to go with the initial plan and see how that works out. So let's get some of these gaps filled up. This is exciting. I really love that snake. I just didn't want to have him plain. Just a little bit at a time around the edges. That's going to pull up here. I'm just going around and we'll brush some more in. I did set my resin in front of my little floor heater for a while this evening. I had company today. I didn't get to it, so we're just going to do that tonight. I'll be gone tomorrow, so see how this fares. I should probably really concentrate on this first layer going right into the sand because that is just glue. 
and I don't know that a thin layer of resin would actually, you know, benefit keeping everything in place. And it's a shame I had to build this up so high. But I just didn't want the snake sitting in a pool of resin, you know. That was my thoughts there. Alright, it's slowly going to my left side where the rocks are. I don't want to put my stand any higher because then it gets wobbly. So if I can just do the edges, I might be able to just brush it out and we'll go over these rocks here a little bit. So that they can settle in. Because initially I just want to bring the edge of the resin out like like this basically is what I want to do. But uh, for now, it's looking good. And I can always add more rocks, but I'm going to have to do two coats. That's, that's ought to be obvious, but for the time being, I might as well sweep this out here and get that sealed. A little flex of sand. Probably clean those out a little bit. Oop. Come on, get it out. That one's on. Back here, we're still holding good. There's a little puddle here. Get rid of that. I was afraid to make more than five ounces, so I'm, I'm glad I just took my a little at a time. I think I'd be better off that way. And then I can s always slant the piece if need be with the second layer. So that's all of it. That's all. Five ounces. So I think I'll just make sure everything's covered this go round, eh? Do it that way. Okay, it's coming down to the edge here. Get it over some of that um, reindeer moss that's over there. See where it wants to go here. Yeah, I, I could have made more. Just, I thought just rather than ruin the whole thing, we'll just do a, a little bit at a time. So I'm not sure this will get out for Sunday. I'll do my best. So, while I'm still up and alert, maybe I will mix a little more. Oh, maybe four ounces. So I might just go ahead and do what I can tonight. And I won't hold you up with that because all I'm going to do is go around and try to keep it from, you know, going over the sides too badly. See, that needs a lot more resin there. So that's what I'll do. I'll make up some more, try to get this finished up. Oh, I should have sanded that a little better. I just picked the overflow globs off of that thinking it would get covered up but I don't know if it will okay everyone I will let you go wish me luck hopefully when you see me again this will be all finished up and you'll be proud of me 
Okay? Take good care, everyone. Have a great night, and I'll see you when I'm through with this big bugger. All right? Hugs. Bye. Oops. Shut off. Well, here it is. I'm outside in the sun on the picnic table. I have to do another coat. I've been having trouble with um, fish eyes. And I have a section up here that just did not coat over. But other than that, I wanted to show it to you. I'm about finished. And I hope you like it. It's going to be a beautiful piece. I don't know if someone would put it on the wall or just use it as a centerpiece on a table. I think it's lovely. I hope you enjoy it. This is my my little snake, my little beaded snake. So enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching. I thought I'd give you an update and get this video to you. So take good care, everyone. Sending hugs. Bye.